In this video, we will obtain Sixinamide. Sixinamide is a cyclic eye mead that is used in the manufacture of drugs for urological treatments. Sixinamide is used to obtain drugs for epilepsy treatments. They are the most commonly used anticonvulsant medications today. Sixinamide is obtained by distilling molten ammonium succinate. Sixinic acid can be purchased at a cheap price in cosmetic stores. This acid is used as an exfoliant, against acne bacteria, and as a skin softener. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. To obtain succinamide, we will first form ammonium succinate. In a 500 ml flask, we will put 125 grams of succinic acid. We slowly add 25% ammonia solution and observe a reaction and increase in heat. To avoid a violent reaction, I immerse the flask in an ice water bath and slowly add 200 ml of a 25% ammonia solution while stirring. Stir for a short time until most of the acid is dissolved. Assemble a 500 ml flask with a distillation head. Connect the outlet tube to another 250 ml 3 necked flask. The tube must be 20 mm and not smaller, as succinamide can solidify in the tube and obstruct the distillation. Attach a thermometer to the distillation head. The three-necked flask is equipped with a reflux condenser and a stopper in case we need to take a sample or remove liquid. The other outlet of the condenser is connected to the fume hood to eliminate the ammonia gas that is produced. First, we will heat the 500 ml flask with a heat plate and distill most of the liquid. A significant amount of ammonia gas is produced during this distillation. The distilled water is removed and the 500 ml flask is heated with a Bunsen burner when the temperature goes above 105 degrees. First, we put a grate between the flame and the flask for protection, but it was not enough heat to distill succinamide, so we removed it. The fraction is distilled between 105 and 290 degrees by heating the flask with a direct flame. At 284 degrees, the vapor temperature generates a thick liquid that solidifies into a white compound when it reaches the receiving flask. If the tube is blocked by the succinamide, cool the distillation flask and distill, with a heat plate, a few ml of acetone that will dissolve the solidified succinamide in the tube. Stop the heat and allow the distillation flask to cool when yellow vapors are observed. To remove the succinamide that has remained in the tube, we put a few ml of acetone in the flask and distill the acetone without a flame, with a heat plate. When a third of the 250 ml flask is full with acetone, heat to reflux to dilute most of the succinamide in the acetone. The succinamide is soluble in hot acetone but not in cold acetone, it is used to crystallize it. Pour the hot content into a beaker and cool it with an ice water bath to promote crystallization. To accelerate crystallization, we scrape the walls of the beaker with a glass rod. Collect the crystallized succinamide by suction and wash it with 30 milliliters of cold acetone. The majority of the acetone is recovered by evaporating the filtered liquid in a roto vapor. Diluting the succinamide at the bottom of the 250 ml flask requires the use of this distilled acetone. Continue the process until all the succinamide is dissolved and crystallized. The crystal crop has not been dried in an oven, since the acetone evaporated quickly and they have remained dry at room temperature. The yield was 68%. 